Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about the sun and melanin and what's happening with the UVC radiation that we're receiving here on Earth. I'm just curious if you guys have been able to notice that the sun is so much more intense than it used to be. The sun does not feel the same. So I'm going to kind of break it down and we're going to get into what's happening with the sun. UVC solar radiation, x-ray solar radiation, gamma ray radiation, what we're receiving on Earth, what it does to us, how it's beneficial for us, and how it's not beneficial for other people. All right, so let's get right into the video. UV radiation comes from the sun. UVA radiation is the least intense solar radiation. UVB radiation is more intense than UVA radiation. To people with pheomelanin, UVB radiation causes sunburn, damage to cells, and damage to DNA. To people with eumelanin, UVB radiation is beneficial for us and provides us with energy. Prior to 2020, UVC radiation did not reach the ground level of the Earth. However, in 2020, for the first time in recent history, UVC radiation reached the ground level of the Earth due to the ozone layer of the atmosphere thinning. The ozone layer is located in the atmosphere and used to protect the Earth from extreme radiation. But the Most High is removing that protection from the Earth. UVC radiation is the most intense ultraviolet radiation. UVC radiation is used in hospitals to sterilize equipment. So let's really think about that. UVC radiation is reaching the ground level of the Earth. This is the same UVC radiation that hospitals use to sterilize equipment. So how can we relate this to the Most High? Well, the Most High is sterilizing and cleansing the Earth by causing the sun to emit UVC radiation. So as we've already learned, UVC radiation sterilizes and cleanses things. So if the earth is receiving UVC radiation, that means that the most high is beginning to cleanse and sterilize the earth. To people with eumelanin, UVC radiation activates our DNA and provides us with energy and cleanses our body. What does UVC radiation do to people with pheomelanin? UVC radiation causes severe sunburn and eye injuries like photokeratitis, higher chances of developing skin cancer, and even blindness. Again, for people with eumelanin, UVC radiation is beneficial for us and activates our melanin and DNA. Let's go back to the frequency spectrum. Now, in 2022, the Most High is causing the sun to emit X-ray solar radiation. Yes, the same X-ray as the X-ray machines. As you can see here in the chart, X-ray is the next level up from UV radiation. This is major, you guys. So the sun is increasing the amount of radiation that we're receiving on Earth. As we know, Melanin has the ability to absorb solar radiation and turn that radiation into energy. The sun is waking us up. The sun is also activating our melanin and we are beginning to remember who we are. At the same time, the sun is weakening our oppressors. In the next few months, the next few years, soon, our oppressors won't be able to withstand the sun. So, like I said, we are receiving trace levels of X-ray solar radiation right now, and the next level up is gamma ray radiation. Once we reach gamma ray radiation, our oppressors will not be able to withstand the sun. So that is what we're really waiting on. We're waiting on the Most High to cause the sun to emit gamma ray radiation. And when that happens, it's a game changer. That's what we're waiting on. So. We are literally on the brink of coming out of our captivity, our oppressors not being able to oppress us anymore because they won't be able to withstand the sun. The sun's going to weaken them. The descendants of Neanderthals admit that they once lived in caves. They lived in caves because they couldn't tolerate the sun at that time in history. So do you see what the Most High is doing? Right now, for the first time in recent history, the Earth is receiving X-ray radiation. The next level up is gamma-ray radiation. When the Most High causes the sun to emit gamma-ray radiation, the people with pheomelanin will have to return to the caves because they won't be able to withstand the gamma radiation coming from the sun. 
And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. So let's pay attention to the sun part. Power was given unto the sun to scorch men with fire. So who is about to be scorched? Who gets sunburn? The earth is receiving more solar radiation. We're about to see this play out. Revelation 16, 9, And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. So again, men were scorched with great heat, and they cursed the name of God. That's how hot it was. So imagine the sunburn being so bad that they cursed God. These are the things that we're about to see. I know many of you have watched the movie I Am Legend. So in the movie I Am Legend, do you guys remember those pale zombies that couldn't be in the sunlight? Remember they would like huddle in the darkness. They could not be out in the sunlight. That would literally kill them. So that's a good example of what's about to happen. The Most High is continuously increasing the radiation coming from the sun. So at a point, only people with melanin will be able to tolerate the sun. And they know this. The world leaders are panicking and they won't openly admit that the people that they've been oppressing, slaughtering, keeping locked up in prison are the actual children of the Most High. All right, you guys. So in conclusion, the message I'm trying to get out to you guys is that slowly but surely the Most High is increasing the solar radiation. Now, this is beneficial for us if you have melanin. This means that you need to get out into the sun more and receive your spiritual downloads receive your dna activation cleanse your body but i also wanted to highlight what's happening to the other people that are also on this planet and what's going to happen to them as more solar radiation is coming down toward earth i hope that you guys enjoy this video and i will see you all on the next one